Hi, in this lecture, I will be talking about block plan software, which actually uses systematic layout planning approach to develop block plans. Okay, so uh, previously we solved an example problem using systematic layout planning approach, in, and then um, we didn't get a chance to review two performance measures to compare alternative layouts, um, which one of them is called normalized adjacency score and the secondly R score. So I'm going to review these performance measures, these scores first, and then I will explain how block plan software is used to solve, uh, to generate good layouts. Let's take a look at my lecture notes. Um, this was the uh, systematic layout planning example uh, we, that we solved before. In that example problem, there were eight departments. There were eight departments. Hold on. I'm sorry. Okay. What's wrong? Okay, hold on. Anyway. There were eight departments, and, and we were required to put these eight departments in a six by seven grid. Each department has that much area requirement, and because this was a total square requirement uh, to develop a layout, and because we did we did have forty two squares in this grid, we represented each department's area requirement by unit square and these were the relationships or closeness ratings or adjacency rating between every pair of department and step by step we solved our problem and in the last i came up with this sketch this is actually just the sketch of activity relationship diagram and then using this sketch i developed this layout. In this layout, as you can see that department 3 is located at the top, which is actually the in the, the, the converted, okay, the rotated of the sketch. If you rotate it, okay, you can simply get a similar one, okay? And 4 and 5 are still located in the middle, one on the left, 7 is something located right here. Uh, is this okay hold on yeah i mean yeah yeah uh th this layout is actually doesn't belong to this sketch okay this layer in this layout i prefer to put three and seven up there two and eight below the four and f departments four and five okay whatever it's not a big deal you might also you might also have got uh, different layouts um, so then how we are gonna decide which alternative layouts my layout or your layouts are is is the best or are better than the others for that purpose we use, we are going to use scores for each adjacency rating okay so these are the scores. Okay, well, it is like this. Okay. I'm going to use score 10 for A because A refers absolutely important. 5 for E, 2 for I, and minus 10 for X. And then I'm going to calculate adjacency score. Adjacency score is calculated is calculated like this. Adjacency score is this total numeric value, total scores of each relationship, each relationship which is met. So if two departments have, if two departments have like two and eight, have 
common border, if they are adjacent, then we are going to say that that relationship is satisfied. If, for, for example, departments 3 and 2, if two departments do, do not have any common border, are not adjacent to each other, then the relationship between those departments is not satisfied. Then we are not going to consider its score. So in this example, in this example, which departments are adjacent? 3, 6, 3, 7, right? Look, there is a common border. 3, 7, 3, 6, 3, 5, 3, 4, 1, 3, 1, 2, 2, 8, 4, 8, 5, 8, 6, 8, 6, 7, 2, 7, right? So we are going to say that the relationship between these pair of departments are satisfied, then we can add their scores up. So which we will get adjacency score. Okay? And how about the upper bound? The upper bound is calculated like this. Upper bound, in for, calcul for the calculation of upper bound, we assume that every pair of department has a boundary. So every department, it is actually impossible to see that, especially when the, when the number of departments is very large, is very high, okay, are adjacent. So the relationships between every pair of departments, all of these are satisfied, except for X. So if there is an X relationship between any pair of departments, we assume that it is not satisfied. Because we want to calculate the upper bound, the maximum score. Okay. However, while we are calculating normalized adjacent score, we consider x if it, if it exists. Okay. And then we get upper bound. After we divide adjacent score by upper bound, we get the normalized adjacent score. If it is, I mean, it is higher the better. The maximum score is 1. Okay. I'm going to solve an example problem for this later on. Another criterion is re rel relationship distance score. Okay. Or it is also called R score. R score is calculated like 1 minus rel score minus lower bound divided by upper bound minus lower bound. Okay? So here, relationship score, which is actually the adjacency scores, okay, is a kind of weight, and dij is the distance between department i and department j. So to be able to calculate this score, we need to have an L layout, right? Then, either using rectilinear distance or Euclidean distance, we need to calculate distances between every pair of departments. And then, we need to multiply these distances. We need to multiply these distances by the relationship between pair of departments that are adjacent to each other. Uh, no, 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 hold on, hold on. It shouldn't be adjacent, okay? And we just need to multiply the relationship uh, factors with the distances between them. So, again, we also need to calculate lower bound and upper bound, okay? Lower bound, because it is in terms of distance, as long as we can decrease, we can decrease this score, relationship distance score, it is good. Because it is kind of weighted, sum of weighted distances. Okay? So that's why I said it is lower the better. So, lower bound, which is the minimum possible relative distance score, 
upper bound is the worst is the worst score okay we can get so to calculate lower bound we are going to use this formula the idea of this formula is this before i mean discussing these formulas let me discuss um let me discuss the array the array Distance vector or distance array is described like this. So after we calculated distance between every pair of departments, we rank, we order the distances from the lowest to the highest, to the lowest to the highest. And we also order relationship from lowest to the highest. So if there is any X relationship, it is located at the first location a relationships are located last the idea is this the idea is this in order to calculate lower bound okay we assign the pair of departments the pair of departments that have a level relationship as close as possible to each other to the minimum distance location okay and for the X pair of departments, I mean for the departments that have X relationship to the furthest locations, okay? And by multiplying these numbers, these numbers, Sn times D1, I from 1 to N, N is the total number of pair of departments, okay? I, when I is 1, n minus 1 plus 1, n, dn, dn is this. It is the furthest location in a layout where we locate the pair of departments, which is, I'm sorry, hold on. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. We, we, then, we locate x relationships to there. Okay. D is correct. Um, let me make sure. D N S N. Yes, D N S N. And S one. S one. S one X goes to D N. Yes. Okay. Yes, that's true. The worst relationship goes to the worst location in terms of distance. After we add these ups, we get the lower bound. For the upper bound, we do the opposite. We put the worst relationship to the closest location, to the most convenient location. We put the best relationship to the worst location to the least convenient location okay so this is the maximum score this is the worst score for relative relationship distance score for any layout we calculate distance between them and considering the relationship or adjacency rating in the matrix we multiply them and add them up okay the last we subtract this score from minus 1, then we got R score. And 1.0 is a perfect layout. So it is, we said that it is higher the better. Okay? So block plan software actually calculates these two metrics automatically. Let's take a look at block plan software. I already uploaded. Uh, zip file for block plan software please unzip that file and open block plan folder and there is a menu if you would like to know the details of this software you can read through you can go through the guide and see how it is used I'm going to briefly explain how it is used. At the end of this guide, uh, relationship distance score, how to calculate relationship distance score should also be located. I'm not sure where it is. 
right now but if you review it you can see it okay all right here it is explained right here okay then click bp wins exe file I would like to credit professors, these professors, okay, this software was developed in 2007 by these professors who were lo located at the Department of Industrial Engineering at the University of Houston, okay. And click Agree, okay. Then click New Problem. Then new problem from keyboard. And let's try to solve our systematic layout planning example problem using block plan software. Okay. Um, where is that? Ah, there you go. In this example problem, we did have eight departments. Department one. And each has an area requirement, 1,500, 2, 4, 500, 3, 5,000, or 1,500, 5, 2,800, 6, 1,500, 7, 2500, 8, 2500. Okay, then you can see total area requirement, the average area requirement, and its standard deviation right here. Then continue. Then in the next step, the software requires us to put the relationship between every pair of departments, like this. E, U, a, E, I, O, U, okay? E, you guys know how to put them, how to read an activity relationship chart. So I'm not getting into too much detail on this. A, E, I, E, U, A, O, I, E, E, O, A, E, O, U. Okay? Then, block plan software automatically assigns these scores to each letter. These scores, as you guys already see that, these scores are similar scores that I used to solve, to calculate adjacency score, okay? Then, if you want to change them, you can change them. You are free to do that. It's, it's, some dif different methods or software uses different scores for each letter, okay? But these are the default scores. Next, block plan software automatically calculates total score of every department, and just by looking their scores, you can immediately determine which department is the most important department? So, department 4 is the most important department because which has the highest score. This is pretty much similar to our algorithm that we used to solve systematic layout planning approach, right? We first determined the most important department, which was actually department 4 before. And the second one was 5, okay? You can use this score to to uh, determine which departments are more important than others then starting from that departments you can start to locate them in a sketch to develop your alternative layout then the software asks you what type of space you have what is its shape its shape is square like this or a rectangular with a ratio 1 to 2 or 1.35 to 1 point or if it is something different from these shape ratios, you can specify your shape ratios. For this question, let me choose this type of layout. Okay, then we already um, defined our problem. Then let me save it. Save 
for example problem let me call it on i'm sorry example problem online okay and then now we are ready to develop alternative layouts because our layout problem is a single floor layout problem single story problem uh, we are going to click this menu by the way block plan is only capable of developing layouts for single story okay and then the first button is for generating random layout the second for automatically search layouts up to 20 layouts if you want to switch the locations of two departments or if you want to locate manually uh, departments you can select this one and then this one shows the graphical representation of the generated layout at this step second step okay and this one shows the scores the summary of each generated scores let me develop random layout this is a random layout which has a normalized adjacent score of 0.35 which is very low by the way right okay so if you want to exchange any locations you can simply say that let me exchange seven and five make change and see its score was slightly increased okay let me search for 10 layouts okay return and these are the automatically generated 10 layouts looking at their normalized adjacency scores i can see that the layout 2 and layout 7 has the highest scores among these 10 and these are the relationship distance scores okay guys i would like to highlight that there is a bug in block plan software therefore unfortunately it doesn't calculate relationship distance score correctly okay but what i explained right here is the correct way to calculate relationship to score and r score okay where did it go Unfortunately, the screen is gone. I don't see where the screen gone. Try to rerun. Okay. Because I already saved it, let me open new problem existing from disk example online. Okay, continue, 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 continue. And single story menu, automatic search layouts we did we generated 10 layouts return them now it found different layouts and among them layout 9 is the best among these 10 because it has the highest normalized adjacent score now let's take a look at how that how these layouts look like the layout one looks like this two looks like this and while you are reviewing each layout you can also take a look at their normalized adjacency scores and we said that layout 9 
is the best among these 10. Okay, layout 9 looks like this. Okay, continue. And this table again sh briefly shows the results of each generated layouts. If we generate something different again, let's generate 20. You can see, you can see more detailed layouts. You can see more detailed layouts. Um, here uh, again, um, these are the layouts and their scores. Department 14, I'm sorry, layout 14 and layout Layout 14, yeah, is the best among them. Okay. Okay, that's it. This is what block plan software is. Um, try to use it at home. And if you have any question, you can email me or we can talk about it later. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye bye.